The voices you hear are those of the retreat singers who are part of the Young Churchmen of Trinity Episcopal Cathedral, Little Rock, Arkansas. Coming from their weekend retreats this year, the singers now bear witness to the life of Jesus Christ in folk songs and readings. They will make musical and dramatic statements about the Incarnation, our Lord's mysterious growing years, the coming of John the Baptist, which was the prelude to Christ's ministry, about his emphasis upon prayer and the sacraments, his triumphant entry into the holy city Jerusalem, and then they will move into the passion drama itself and the resurrection of our Lord. Now in order to set the scene for what they have to say about the incarnation or the birth of Jesus, the singers will open with a song which would not have been too foreign to the ears of the Virgin Mary herself, for it is written in the musical mood and ancient language of her own people. It is an old Hebrew folk song entitled Hana Ava Babanot. We believe that it easily applies to the chosen Mary, for Hana Ava Babanot means Thou fairest among maidens. And Mary had her one son. It was the supreme act of love. God sent to the world his son, Jesus the Christ. From the world's point of view, he came not in glory as a king, but humbly as the son of a lowly 15-year-old Jewish girl and a Nazarene carpenter. But for the little group huddled in the back of that cave that served as a stable, things were different. The girl had never known a man, and yet now she was a mother. At first, all the things she had heard and seen had been too fantastic to believe. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and call his name Jesus. It was true. He was holy. She and Joseph did not understand much beyond this or even what was to happen next. They just knew that he was the Messiah, the Holy One of God. And the whole place seemed beautifully eerie as they became aware that it was filled with the movement of God the Father. He was there with his son. And for them and those who came to the stable, the night was holy, the night that Mary had her one son. Virgin Mary had her one son, oh, glory, hallelujah, oh, pretty little baby, glory be to the newborn king. Mary, how you call your pretty little baby, oh, pretty little baby. Oh, pretty little baby, glory be to the newborn king. 
Some call him Jesus, I'll call him Savior. Oh, I'll call him Savior. Oh, I'll call him Savior. Glory be to the newborn King. Riding from the east, there came three wise men. doesn't make her child grow, she watches him grow. She feeds and cleans and mothers and spanks and protects. And then one day she turns around and realizes that in the midst of confusion, he's grown. Realizes that his body and mind have been growing kind of secretly. She could feed and clean and mother, but how do you make a human body grow five inches taller? And she feels like a spectator looking at something somebody else has done to her baby. So it was with Mary. Turn around and he's a young boy going out of the door. Turn around and he's a young man with ideas of his own. Turn around, turn around. She turned around and he was Christ the King. Turn around and you too. Turn around and you Turn around and you're a young boy going out of my door. These are the last words of the Old Testament from the book of Malachi the last words of the Old Testament. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. to the banks of the river Jordan, baptizing for the remission of sins and repentance to heaven, and telling the fathers to turn to their children and the children to turn to their fathers, lest the Lord should come and smite the land with a curse. 
the beauty of the Lord. His voice was born across the sea, with the glory in his bosom, the transfigures you and me. As he died to make me holy, he let us live to make me free, while God is marching on. Lord, Behold the Lamb of God. This is he who is mightier than I, the latches of whose shoes I am unworthy to unloose. I indeed baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And bewildered by his power and seeking after it, they asked him, Lord, teach us to pray. And he said, When ye pray, pray, Our Father, which art in heaven. memories of childhood goodness. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. And they brought young children to Christ that he might touch them. But his disciples rebuked those who brought them. And Jesus, when he saw it, was much displeased. And he said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Verily I say unto you, unless you receive the kingdom of God as a little child, ye shall not enter therein. And he took them up into his arms, and he placed his hands upon them, and blessed them. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong.
You know, to me, happiness is a palm branch. A human being does not experience uninhibited ecstatic joy very often in his life, but when he does, the experience is unforgettable. And you remember and you treasure all the little things that went along with that short taste of heaven. That's what the whole day was for me, a short taste of heaven. It was the day that the master decided to actually enter Jerusalem. And we made his way with cloaks, blankets, and palm branches. And I'll never forget the feel of those palm branches. And I'll never forget the joy and love that filled me that day. Look ye, Jerusalem, the Son of Man has come to you. Look ye, Jerusalem, the Son of Man has come to you. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna. In the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna. He is the Lord of all above, he is the Lord of all gods. He is the Lord of all above, he is the Lord of all gods. He is the Lord of all above, he is the Lord of all gods. He is the Lord of all above, he is the Lord of all gods. said, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And most of us said, Where? Where is this kingdom of heaven? And he said, Follow me. Well, I guess those of us who followed him thought we were going somewhere. Why, we were going straight to the kingdom of heaven. And the ones who had the nerve kept asking him the way to the kingdom. Usually, he would say something strange, like, I am the way, follow me. And so we followed him. And we loved him because he so obviously loved us. He was our Lord and our leader. And when he looked at the sky, we looked at the sky, even if we didn't know what we were looking for. And when he walked fast, we walked fast. And when he walked slow, we walked slow. And when he laughed, we laughed. And when he wept, our hearts were broken too, even if we didn't understand why. You see, we fed from the spirit of his personality until we became much like him. Later on, we discovered that he was showing us the way to the kingdom of heaven by letting us take on his personality traits. For this personality was God. And on the night before his horrible death, he instructed us to continue to feed from him. We were to call to remembrance and feed from our association with him. And he took bread, he broke it, and he said, This is my body. And he took wine and he blessed it, and he said, This is my blood. Call to remembrance and feed. Do this in remembrance of me. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And after giving thanks, he broke the loaf and then he said, Take this is my body, which I gave for thee. Do this in remembrance of 
remembrance of me. And then he blessed with love the common cup unto every man. He passed the chalice all around with his command. Between God and you, sing praise of God the Father, His holy name, and to the Son, the Holy Christ, His upper chain. We tortured His body and His blood, we shed. But thanks to God, Christ is risen from the dead, proceeding now from the Father God and the risen one. The Holy Ghost can make a man God's adopted son. can make your life free as he said in remembrance of me in remembrance of me Watching him get the crossed position with his body on it was enough to sicken the strongest. For the thing swung and bumped awkwardly as it was lifted into the air. You could see him clearly now, for he was above the crowd, and you could study what they had done to him. Now you understood the reason for those hammering noises, for they had impaled him on the cross using spikes instead of ropes. My God, one look was enough for eternity. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? seven times, and this is what he said, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, my God, my God, 
Why hast thou forsaken me? O Lamb of God, that takest away the Father, sins of the forgive them, for they know not what they do. Woman, behold thy son, disciple, henceforth behold thy mother. Today, young thief, shalt thou be with me in paradise. I thirst. It is finished. It is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. That brought you joy just to listen to him. He talked of God and heaven, my master. He really loved his father's long lost children. But did you see? Did you see? They went and nailed my master to a tree. He was no average man, my master. Yet somehow we all felt we'd always known him. So full of life and love, my master. That foolish men grew deeply jealous of him. And did you see? Did you see? They went and nailed my master to a tree. I watched them do this to my master. And from that sight, I can't be free again. But there's something more about my master. You see, I saw him walking in that garden. So don't you see? Don't you see? Almighty God from death will set men free. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, we came unto the sepulchre and found the stone rolled away, rolled away, the great stone was rolled away, and we entered into the sepulchre, and found not the body of Jesus. And lo, a voice spake to us, saying, Why seek ye the living among the dead, among the dead? O oh, seek not the living among the dead. 
For he said unto you in Galilee, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and rise again, rise again. The Son of Man must rise again. And lo, Jesus appeared to us and showed us his wounds. And he said unto us there, Go ye therefore the blessed, and teach all the nations. And I am with you always. I am with We find the deep joy of the resurrection to be inexpressible in words alone. Therefore, we rely upon spirit and mood as we turn to this old Hebrew Passover song. We sing in the spirit of a people finally liberated from their bondage. For after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, it is truly the Christian who can sing. Avodim ho yinu, once we were slaves. Atobine horin, today we are free men. A bobbing holy new, holy new. A Holy, 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 holy,